Hey everybody, it's Carrie with MemoryInkers.com for another quick Tip Time Tuesday. Um, today, we're going to talk about this week's um, product of the month and um, starting with this awesome designer series paper. Um, it's called, uh, oh, I always forget the name of stuff. Drives me nuts. Delightfully detailed laser cut. Now, as you can see, I, I kept a sample of the complete pages. You guys have seen this before. I've showed you a few times. And remember that these are laser cut, so it's actually um, these pieces, just so you remember. But today we're going to talk about this piece, and I'm going to go over how to cut it and prepare it um, so that you're ready to make your cards. When you get your pack, it's going to come, um, uh, of course, in a clear um, little baggie. And all of the pages, um, some really thick chipboard on both sides, and all of the pages are um, separated by tissue paper. So, um, as you can see, I've used some of mine. So, I'm going to pull out just these pieces that we're talking about today. And these I'm going to keep just as they are. Um, and we'll we'll talk through the week about different ideas on how to use this for more than just, I mean, obviously, it's an awesome background piece for a scrapbook page, but there's a lot more you can do with it, too. So today, we are just going to talk about this page and um, how we can prepare to have that page ready for us and how the proper way to cut it. So I'm going to move this out of the way so that we can get started. You're going to want your stamp and trimmer. Um, you don't. You can. You can pull your arm out if you, um, the arm of the paper trimmer out, if you want to. But this is actually a lot easier to do if you just, um, if you just follow these simple, simple directions. First, take away the tissue paper from both sides. Now, this is going to be very delicate. So, um, and save your tissue paper. We'll go over on another day some things that you can do now. You can, um, this one is pretty easy actually to just um, pull apart if you wanted to. You could just uh, tear the paper, but since I'm showing you cutting, well, you know what, I still feel better. This is how I've done it. I've torn it. You don't want to tear it down here. You want to tear it up here. I'm hoping you guys can see that. Up at the top. And then you're going to put this side away. Um, I would hold on to this piece because you never know. That could be a really interesting border. But then you have this, and don't forget, it's uh, Whisper White on one side, Very Vanilla on the other. And that's true of the other um, large 12 by 12 piece also. Then the next thing you want to do is you want to turn your paper and set this up. Now you're going to want an edge on here, so be careful how you do this and make sure it's laying flat and you don't want to cut off your edges and then just trim it off and then these are all like a lot of different sizes they're just awesome for using a whole bunch of different ways and we'll be going through a lot of that this week as we play you don't want this um, funky little edge so we're going to trim that off also can see I tore it a little funny there. Oops. Make sure it's in place before you do that. <laughs> and then now that didn't cut off perfectly because you know when I do a live video, I tell it no, well it's not live, but things don't quite go as planned when I'm doing videos. I don't know why. Let's see if I can trim that really close. If your blade is sharp, you can. So now you've got, you know, a big mess on your table, but it's okay. Um, so then you're going to cut down the center of this. And it might be easier. Oh, oops, you don't want to cut that off. It might be easier to put it where you can see. So I want, I can see the edge better than I can here because this is such a, a big space. I want to make sure I'm centered on that because you want an edge on all of these pieces. Oops, don't want to score it. There we go. And then um, it's just the same thing all the way. You're going to just uh, center 
this on your trimmer so you find the right spot. Make sure it's pressed up good. And then you end up with all the pieces. Now my recommendation is because you're going to want to use these and you don't want to um, do what I did on whoops, on this one, I just cut out one piece. It, it really was more time consuming than just cutting the whole thing apart. So um, that's what I do now with this designer series paper. And it's so beautiful that you're going to want to have more than one package of this. Trust me on that. At first, I didn't think there was anything to do with this one or this one, but oh my gosh, the cards we're going to make with this paper this week. It's just, it's really beautiful. So cut all of your pieces. And again, remember that they are delicate. So you want to be careful with them. Okay. Then you end up and all of your pieces are ready. Now you may decide you want to trim this. Like I think these edges are like not even so... I'll play with that. Um, but now you have all of the pieces and you can make stunning, stunning cards with this set. This is just a couple of them, which um, I've shown before. So let me know if you have any questions. Um, again, the designer series paper is going to be on sale um, the month of July, but not this particular paper. So um, it's a good time to get it. You're going to love it. Okay, that's my quick tip how to cut your uh, delightfully detailed specialty paper. Bye. Okay, I totally forgot to mention that these beautiful cards are, um, they are mounted onto the other um, piece of the product of the week this week, the amazing delightfully detailed note cards and envelopes. So um, it comes with all these, um, you, of course you get all the envelopes. I've used some, so I believe there's four of each design, but look at how pretty they are they're just beautiful and when all you have to do is lay a design on top of it and it just is just amazing and it does work to do it with the whisper white even though the cards are vanilla it works that way too so just didn't want to forget to tell you that um, let me know if you have any questions <laughs> bye again